हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन सम एग्जांपल्स ऑन स्टेडी स्टेट एरर एंड स्टैटिक एरर कोफिशियंट सो फ्रेंड्स बिफोर दिस वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन स्टैटिक एरर कोफिशियंट एंड स्टेडी स्टेट एरर इन डिटेल एंड द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन देम आल्सो आर एक्सप्लेन इन सम वीडियोस सो लेट अस सॉल्व एग्जांपल आवर एग्जांपल इज दैट एन यूनिटी फीडबैक सिस्टम हैज जॉब एस इक्वल्स टू 50 multiplied by s plus 2 over s plus 5 times s plus 4 determine type of system all error coefficients and steady state error when subjected to step of magnitude 2 so these are the things that we have to find the first one is type of a system now let us go into solution see uh, type of system is the number of poles at origin for an open loop transfer function so if you want to calculate the open loop transfer function it is the multiplication of g of s and h of s now g of s is given here and h of s is also given because it's an unity feedback system for unity feedback system the value of h of s is equals to 1 and therefore g of s multiplied by h of s will be given as this one That is fifty times s plus two over s plus five plus into s plus four. So I will uh, find the type of system by number of poles at origin. Now see here that the power of s o here. Okay, so uh, simply in denominator the number of poles at origin the s we have to find s raised to power what now. no term of s is given it means that the power of s is zero that is number of poles at origin are zero okay and therefore it is a type zero system in this way we have found the type of a system now in next step we will find all error coefficient now all error coefficient means uh, static error coefficients here and the static error coefficients are positional error constant which is indicated by kp velocity error constant which is kv and acceleration error constant ka and the formulas for these are given here the difference between these formulas are uh, that is uh, it is limit s tends to 0 g of s into h of s for kp okay if we multiply this g of s into h of s by s then we will get kv and the same equation is here again with multiplication of s square that is ka and respective steady state error can be found like this okay so uh, for this example we are having kp this formula kv now s will be here that is you can see and lastly ka again s square will be there okay now we are having the values of g of s into h of s just put these values here and we will get equation like this i have just put the value uh, of uh, g of s into h of s over here and i will get i got this equation now let us solve this by applying a limit now uh, just uh, application of limit is very very easy just put s equals to 0 here therefore we will get 50 times 0 plus 2 multiplied is over over uh, 0 plus 5 times 0 plus 4. So after solving this, we'll get 50 multiplied by 2 over 5 multiplied by 4. And therefore, therefore we'll get it as Kp equal to 5. It is hundred upon twenty. That is Kp equals to five. Now next we have to calculate Kv. That is velocity error constant. And if we put s equals to zero, multiplied by this term, we have already calculated it as five. So zero multiplied five uh, multiplied by five will get it as zero. Okay, that is the value of Kv. And lastly, Ka again it is s square means. Zero is again multiplied here, and therefore we will get as k a equal to zero. In this way, we got the values of k p, k v, and k a respectively. 
and thus in third step we have to find the steady state error now the given is a steady st uh, we have to uh, find steady state error when subjected to step of a magnitude 2 now two things are given the first it is a step signal and the second it has a magnitude 2 now as magnitude is 2 we can write a equals to 2 and as it is a step signal we will use the formula for kp that is uh, steady state error ess equals to a over 1 plus kp now we have already found the values of, of kp and we got it as pi and therefore it is 2 over 6 and which is nothing but 0 0.33 so in this way we got ess equals to that is steady state error equals to 0 0.33 that was the third thing that uh, we had to find and the last thing uh, is that we got ess equals to 3.33 means in this graph ess is equals to 0 0.33 assuming that we are using this as a an exponential output it may be oscillatory also but uh, the resultant will be same that the output will be stable at this particular value and ess at the end will be 0 0.33 here the value of a is given as 2 and if we subtract 2 and this term we will get uh, we will get here it as 1.67 means output is stable at this value that is 1.67 so in this way we can calculate all these things which are asked next problem is that uh, for unity feedback system job base is this one determine again same things are asked let us find the solution for this now job s is given and again unity feedback system is given it means that g of s is this one and h of s is nothing but this one that is one now after putting values of g of s and h of s g of s multiplied by h of s will be 20 multiplied by s plus 8 over s into s plus 2 into s plus 4 now we have to find the type of a system and here the s power the power of s is 1 because it is just s okay and therefore here the number of poles are 1 at origin is 1 and therefore the type of a system is also 1 it is a type 1 system now next one that we have to calculate is the all error coefficient that is kp kb and k we already know the formula kp is having this formula kv is now s will be added over here and in ka s square will be added and now if we put the values of this g of s into h of s here we'll get equation like this and if we want to find the values now after calculation what we'll get here it is 20 multiplied by 8 upon if we apply the limit s equals to 0 so it is 0 into 2 into 4 so uh, there is 0 in the denominator okay if 0 is in denominator we will get values value of kp equals to infinity now let us find the value of kv uh, so this s and this s will get cancelled and after applying limit we will get 20 multiplied by 8 in numerator and in denominator we will get 2 multiplied by 4 so this 8 and this 8 is going to cancel and we are getting kv equals to this 20 and therefore in this case kv equals to 20 and last we have to calculate ka and here if we put the values this s that will if we put s equals to 0 over here so we will get k a equal to 0 and in this way we got values of k v k p k v and k a as infinity 20 and 0 respectively so these are the 
static error coefficient now next what we have to calculate we have to calculate the steady state error and in this case the steady state error is subjected to 3d is given okay now look at this here r of t is equals to 3d is given means it means that the magnitude of magnitude of it is it is the equation of ramp signal and therefore we can say that uh, r of s if we calculate r of s here we will get it as 3 divided by s and therefore the magnitude is equals to a equal to 3 okay just now we will use the formula of a steady state error that is e s s equal to now it's a ramp signal and therefore the formula for this will be a divided by k p i have already explained the concept uh, not k p it's k v i have already explained the concept of using this formula for e s s in the video you can uh, click here on the i button or you uh, the description is given in the uh, sorry the link is given in the description also so just put the values here it is a equal to 3 and kv we have calculate it as 20 and therefore 3 upon 20 is equals to 0 0.15 so in this way we got the values value of steady state error that is uh, what we had to calculate it is the third point that we wish to calculate so friends in this way uh, we have solved this example uh, for more example again uh, in next video i will explain some uh, two more examples uh, there uh, again uh, this will be of type 2 system and type 1 system uh, and i am making same series in the hindi also so you can watch our com uh, complete playlist of uh, control system in english as well as in hindi the link is uh, given in the description or you can uh, watch it over here. Thank you.